Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name's Rachel and this is Stitched Up. Today I thought I would talk to you a little bit about what I've been making during October. In my last video I talked about some of the plans that I had and some of the fabrics that I had. I've not been able to complete everything. It's been a busy month. I've just been away for a week with my family into the Lake District doing lots of hiking so that was fabulous. Um, so I've not had the opportunity to do as much as what I wanted to do. However, I have managed to get a couple of things done. So, to start with, um, I'll tell you what I'm wearing. This was one of the um, things that I wanted to make this month, which is the Paper Cut Patterns Capelia Cardigan. Now, there we go, if you can see that. Um, I made this in some gorgeous dusky pink jersey that I got from Fabworks in Dewsbury. I'll show you the pattern here. Can you see that? So on the front of the pattern envelope there's actually two versions that you can make of this. You can do a wrap top which is slightly cropped or you can do a, a faux wrap which is the version I've done. So as you can see it's stitched at the side here. Now thank you for the responses that I had to my first vlog. That was really unexpected so um, there was a few questions that people asked me in that which I thought I'd answer while we're talking about this top. Firstly how tall I am. I'm five foot ten and um, so frequently I have to alter patterns to fit me. Now I've sewn paper cut patterns before and I've actually found that they're actually very generous in length so I've not had to alter this one at all. I've got really long arms, now if you can see, the arm length on this, I don't know if you can see that, is perfect for me. I do find with a lot of ready to wear tops that they're actually really short and this is absolutely perfect. So I've not had to lengthen the sleeves which is something that I normally do, I normally have to put at least a couple of inches on sleeves if I'm making a long sleeve top um, and my sort of torso length I usually have to lengthen things by about an inch and a half so but with this I didn't need to do that now in ready to wear clothes I'm normally a size sort of 12 to 14 I have recently lost some weight um, but I'm sort of hovering between a 12 and a 14 at the minute now previously when I've sewn this cardigan I've done the size medium and found that it was actually too big and I had to give it away so on this occasion I've done the small and I was worried about that because being 5 foot 10 and a UK size 12 to 14 the small was I never buy size small in tops I'm quite broad shouldered and um, as I say because of the length that I needed the arms as well a small is never my size so I do think paper cut patterns are quite generous fitting so yeah I sew this in a size small really love it the only thing I found with it is the neck band that you apply um, and you sort of stretch to fit slightly it did gape a little bit I don't know whether I've just not stretched it enough maybe I should have done it a little bit more but it did gape a little bit on the shoulder so I've had to put a couple of darts in just at the back um, but you know they don't look too bad I'm pleased with it overall so yeah that's my first make so the next thing that I wanted to make this month was um, a coat and I chose the paper cut patterns again Sapporo coat, Sapporo, is it Sapporo? Not sure how you pronounce it actually, but yeah, that's what I decided to make. Now, when I looked at this pattern, I was really worried, a bit funny there, um, because the pattern pieces are, if I just show you the inside there, some of them look quite complicated, and I, especially number one over the side there where the pocket pieces are, and I was a bit worried, a bit concerned that I would find this a little bit difficult. The other thing, being tall, was I knew that there was no way I could lengthen this um, and I was worried that it wouldn't fit properly. So I just decided to go with it and see how it turned out based on the fact that the other paper cut pattern, patterns that I've made up worked okay. I thought well hopefully this will, this will be just as good. So I'm going to put it on now and um, let you have a look. So I don't know if you can see that. But this is the coat. I absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. Um, fits really nicely. Comes to about mid thigh. 
got a really nice lining in there which is just something that I had in my stash it's just a poly as I say I made absolutely no modifications to this at all I don't know if you can see the collar there a bit of a close-up of the sleeves and yeah it fits really well okay so this is the final thing that I wanted to show you this month this is the grain line linden sweater which I've made in this absolutely so much fun um, cat sweatshirt jersey it's fleece backed um, and yeah it's absolutely gorgeous I love it I've made the linden before now again because of me being tall, I tend to lengthen the arms of, of jumpers and this was no exception. So I added about an inch on just to the cuff of these, and but I didn't lengthen the body length. I left that as, as it was and found that it's actually really quite, it just sits just, just on my hips, so it's absolutely perfect for me. Now, I made this in a size, gosh, now, when I've made it before, I think I chose, because Grain Line are American, Canadian, gosh, I'm not really sure, but I think I made it in the equivalent of a size 12 to 14, which I think was an 8 to 10, or a 10, I think, I think it was a 10 that I've made it in before, and found that it was actually a bit big, so this time I've made it in an 8, which is the equivalent of our size 12, and I think the fit is much better, you can see that. So um, yeah, this is just so warm and snuggly. As I said, I, we've just been to the Lake District for the last week and I have absolutely lived in this jumper. The cottage we were staying in was really cold and this has just been so nice to wear. So, but I absolutely love it. This time of year, it's just lovely. Um, really warm, really snuggly, great to just cozy up with. I love the linden. Now, the only thing I'm not particularly happy about on this particular version is the neckline. I couldn't couldn't find any ribbing that matched it totally. I didn't want black on it because I just thought it would stand out too much. I was quite happy with the cuffs out of the main fabric, um, but ideally I would have liked probably because it's more like an oatmeal colour rather than grey. I don't know how it's quite appearing on screen, but I would have preferred an oatmeal ribbon and I just couldn't find it so I made the neckband out of the main fabric and it's not that great if I'm honest. I think if I do find some oatmeal ribbon I will probably take this off and redo the neckband for next time. But again it's a lovely easy easy top to make. I've made this probably this is the third third one that I've made now and I probably won't stop there because it's very easy once you've cut the pieces out, sewing it up takes ugh, an hour-ish, something like that. So, um, so yeah, this is the uh, final thing that I've got to show you today. Um, but yeah, love it. So I hope you've enjoyed having a look at the things that I've been making during October. I'll be doing another vlog soon that's going to look at um, a fabric and pattern haul that I've just gone mad again and um, bought a few things in some of the big four companies have been having 50% um, off sales recently so I've bought a few more patterns and some more fabric so I'll be chatting about what I'm going to be doing. I've also got um, going to be doing another vlog shortly on my Christmas party dress. Obviously Christmas is upon us very soon and I do have a nice party to go to so I'm going to be making my own dress and I thought that what I would do is I would do a bit of a step through from actually cutting out right sewing it up and to the final thing and um, it's a Vogue pattern it's a vintage Vogue pattern that I've chosen but obviously if you subscribe to my channel and um, give us a thumbs up if you like my videos and um, check in on that vlog and you'll be able to have a look a little bit more about it when um, when that's published okay thanks for, for watching everybody and I will see you soon bye